Zach followers, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell. I'm your host, Leanne Alfaro, and we're coming to you live from Times Square, New York City, where you just saw the U.S. Open ring the bell in honor of the next event on the Grand Slam calendar, the final major of the year, taking place on Monday, August 26th. Joining me here to talk a little bit more about it is Belgian professional tennis player David Goffin. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So you are a professional player rated worldwide 15 by ATP yep. um, and you have been playing since you were a kid. Yes. So, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, I started playing tennis when I, when I was five. It was uh, in Belgium. I'm from Belgium. And then, uh, and then I loved the game straight away and then year after year I uh, continue to play a lot, a lot improving and then, and then now I'm where I am. Uh, still loving traveling, playing this amazing tournament, and I'm super excited for uh, next Monday. And actually, after this interview, you're headed straight into practice. So tell us, how are you preparing for the U.S. Open starting next week? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of practice every day. Uh, small uh, preparation, small details. Uh, but I'm feeling great already for the moment. But I still have a few days uh, before the start. It's going to be maybe maybe hot. It could be hot here in New York. So it's important to, to rest also and to be physically and mentally ready for, for the tournament. Talk to us a little bit about coaching. You're coached by a grand, former Grand Slam winner. What are some of the kind of takeaways that you have from your coach and how does that relationship work? Well, first he has uh, the experience of uh, winning a Grand Slam. It's, uh, it's the, the, the US Open is one of the biggest tournaments in the world, so it's really tough to, to win it. It's long, it's uh, two weeks, so it's, uh, it, it's not easy to, to deal with uh, the, the matches and uh, with uh, mentally to be ready for this tournament. But uh, uh, he, he brings me a lot of uh, things, technically, tennis of course, but also uh, mentally and uh, and where we try to go as further as we can. And two weeks, as you said, is quite a long time. So how do you keep up your endurance and how do you stay mentally and physically engaged? Yeah, with my team, we try to uh, first uh, recover physically after every match because it could be tough to be three sets, four sets or five sets. We never know when it's going to end uh, a match like this. And then uh, two days after, you're back on the court. So you have to fully to be fully recovered for the next match and then to stay uh, really calm to to rest a lot and uh, and to continue until the end of the second week hopefully and now we are obviously at nasdaq a technology company are there any technologies or apps that you use to train or what does that routine typically look like uh, we don't use a little bit of uh, a lot of apps uh, for uh, for tennis, but there is some, uh, you know, for to work on the on the, the technique. We use the the cameras as well for uh, when we have to change uh, technically, uh, let's say uh, uh, swing or uh, to be uh, to improve, let's say the serve or uh, could be back end as well. And uh, so it could be uh, for the small details. We can we we could use it. And finally, last but not least, for anyone looking to really get in your industry, you started very young, but for anyone looking to play tennis or pick up a, pick up a, a sport in a very serious way, what advice would you give to them? Just to uh, keep uh, enjoying the game, that's the most important. If you want to continue for uh, many years, you have to stay uh, to love the game and uh, try to work and uh, enjoy every moment on the court because it's Really nice to live uh, your patient. Fantastic. David, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you out on the field and best of luck with practice in the days to come. Thank you very much. NASDAQ followers, don't forget to check out our coverage coming to you here from NASDAQ and check out US Open's Fan Week. It's a week full of activities, all free on the grounds leading up to the US Open. Until then, we are signing off right here from